Yo, what's poppin', folks? Welcome back to the only program with the torch for a mascot, besides the Olympics. We're your hosts, Alex, Cam, and Rachel, and this is Blazer, Blazer News. Please stand for the singing of your national anthem. <laughs> Please be seated. Blazers, it's the last day to try your hand at the Papa Shot basketball stand in the Bear Pit at large. Come shoot some hoops and try to beat Cam Frazier's score of 126. Attention badminton players, don't forget that if you'd like to compete against other schools, our first tryout is the Wednesday after March break at 3 p.m. Please see Mimi if you have any questions. Badminton Club will get back together this Friday after March break. The, the Friday after March yeah. break, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Blazers, thanks for all the fun we've had with the Spirit Trio. Send in pics of the fashion hits and styling successes if you want them featured on the BSS Instagram. The Rainbow Club will meet today at lunch in the drama room. Blazers, March break is coming up. What better way to invest in rest and relaxation time than by having an adventure in a book. The BSS Learning Commons has many awesome titles in the fiction and nonfiction sections that may entertain or educate you about all sorts of topics and ideas my bad it's free and you can check out more than one book at a time so come and get great reads to explore over the break not sure where your interest might lie miss kirby and miss harrington can suggest titles and if the story doesn't grab you just return the book no questions asked plus don't forget that the isabel turner public library is located nearby from the bus transfer point at the cat center it's free to anyone who lives in kingston Check out what the library branch nearest you has to offer by visiting kfpl.ca. As amazing as they are, library cards are free. Register for a KFPL card over March break, in person or online for unlimited adventures within everyone's budget. Music Club has a great session this week. If you play an instrument or sing, come and join them after March break on Tuesday at lunch in the music room. Eco Team is back with another environmental quote of the week. Climate change is not just a problem for the future. It is impacting us every day, everywhere. By Vandana Shiva. A reminder for all Eco Team members that we will have a meeting today in room 113 at March. New members are always welcome to join. Now it's time to dive into the most special part of this week's news. Let's take a look at some of our, uh, some of our winter sports teams. Starting with... Ice Stock! Welcome back. Team members from South Frontenac are on their way to Italy to represent Team Canada at the International Ice Stock Games. CTV's Kimberly Johnson has that story. The swing and the release. Come on, come on. Ah! 
A final practice before the real deal. Very excited, a little nervous, a little apprehensive, but very excited. Excited to be heading to Italy to represent Canada at the World Championship in the game of ice stock. Tammy Lambert is one of 10 members from the South Frontenac Club that has made Team Canada. So exciting, uh, and it's a real sort of testament to the growth of our club. Described as a cross between curling and bocce ball, four members hurl a rock down the ice to reach a target. The team with the most points wins the game. It's just as much a mental game. Um, you have to know where that shot needs to go. It's a first for a small town South Frontenac to have so many members going, beating others from across the country. We kind of have this little niche happening in South Frontenac where for many reasons we've been able to build a sport that is not known to people. And it will be a first for Sophia Antoine. I haven't really thought about it to avoid being super nervous. At 16 years old, Antoine will be the youngest ever Team Canada member to compete in the solo category. If you're angry or you have something on your mind, you can just huck something down as far as you can with no regard for breaking anything. With more than 25 countries competing at the games, they'll be up against heavy hitters like Germany, where the sport originated. She says it's about blocking it all out and enjoying the game. And just pretending that it's a practice with my team because they're super fun. The team dreaming of bringing home the gold. It's an opportunity for growth for me personally and for our team because I think it will be awesome to see those um, countries who have played ice stock for a long time. Kimberly Johnson, CTV News, South Frontenac. Welcome to Roving Reporter. I'm Conlon Sleeth here with Mrs. Lambert who is on the Canadian ice stock team and she's a teacher here at Bayridge. Could you tell us what is ice stock? So ice stock is a combination of bocce and curling, really. It is also called, called Austrian curling. And the goal in ice stock is to shoot your stock, not a curling stone, into a house and get close to a center target, which is called a dobby. And that target moves around the house. So that's how you get points. So it's a, it's a great, uh, fun, physical and mental game. Awesome, and you were on the Canadian ice stock team and went to Italy for that. How was that experience? Oh, that was an amazing experience. Yeah, we had to go through a competition pro, uh, prog program to kind of um, get on the team. We had to compete, and Italy was great. 22 countries represented overall, and we got a bronze medal in the B division for the women's team. Well, congratulations on that. Is there anything else like to tell the Blazers about ice stock? Yes, we're looking for junior members. So visit our stock sport page, South Rontanac Stock Sport Club on Facebook. And uh, we would love to have junior members come out and play with us. But that's the, the best place to find information. All right, thanks for your time. Back to you guys in the studio. Super cool. Now it's time for Girls Volleyball. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here in the field with two members from the Junior Girls Volleyball team. Uh, I'm Alana. And I'm Gracie. Awesome. And what position do you guys play? I'm a left side, and I play center. Nice. But how's your guys' season going? Um, it's going pretty well so far. We've learned to work really well as a team, and I'd say that's pretty good. Great. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm in the field with two members of the senior girls volleyball team. I'm Jenny. And I'm Valerie. Awesome. And what position do you guys play? I'm a right side. And I'm the center. Nice. And how's your guys' season going this year? It's going pretty well. We have our new coach, Miss LaRue. We love her. So if you ever see her in the halls, make sure to cheer her on. Cool. And when's your guys' next game? Uh, you guys should stay tuned after March break. Let's go. Back to you in the studio, guys. Amazing stuff, truly. But now it's time for... Boys, Boys Basketball! basketball. <laughs> I blocked go. it. I blocked it. No. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cameron, and I'm here interviewing these two members of the Junior Boys Basketball team. Uh, you, you want to tell us how much you love basketball, like the sport? You know, basketball means so much to me. Mr. Allen, shout out to you. You're shout such out. a beauty. You know, to me, bas to me basketball, you know, a lot to me. I love you. 
There, there you have it. And you, how's the team doing this season, bro? Um, I feel like during the tournament on the weekend, our team really picked up. Uh, against the Belleville game, we did our best. And then we went up against Napanee, a rematch during the tournament. All right. Wiped them out. Oh my God, all right. And uh, we beat Ernest Town yesterday. And now we can happily say that everybody on our team has scored at least one basket. And we're hoping to win against Holy Cross tomorrow. Awesome, you heard it. Everyone scored at least one basket. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that's awesome. All right, thanks a lot for the interview. Uh, uh, yeah. See ya. Hey guys, it's me again, Cameron, and uh, I'm actually interviewing the senior boys basketball team, or members of the aforementioned, starting with this gentleman. Uh, why don't you tell us about uh, how the season's going? The season's going pretty good. Uh, we've only lost three games, but that's probably because only I three? wasn't there. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's going pretty good. Uh, we started off undefeated, uh, and then I had COVID, so then we started losing games. But I'm back now, and now we're winning. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Uh, thanks, thanks a bunch. Uh, Tell us why you love basketball, bro. Um, I really love basketball because it gets to be part of a team. You know, our team especially has such a good dynamic uh, on the bench and uh, especially in the changers. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you guys heard it here. Uh, teamwork is awesome and it's great and basketball is great. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it. See ya. Finds something here, can't. He finds Brian. Brian drives in, takes the shot, and it's good. Great play by Brian with the pump fake, takes it in the paint and gets it to go. Henry with the ball at the top of the key. Tries to find something, drives in, steps past one with the layup. Great play by Henry to get that bucket. He had to go around a couple defenders, but he did get it. Takes it back out, turns. Drives, turns again, takes the shot, great shot by Nick, and one. He will go to the line. Holy cow, that is off that hook. Let's finish off this wonderful segment with hockey. hockey. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with three graduating members from the Bay Ridge Senior Girls Hockey Team. Otto. Rachel, Laura. Awesome, and what positions did you guys play? Uh, I played defense, I'm the goalie, and I'm left wing. Nice, and Autumn, what was your favorite memory throughout Bay Ridge Hockey? Uh, probably the tournaments and just getting to spend a lot of time with these amazing girls. Nice, and how did you guys this season go, Rachel? Um, our season was pretty good, we ended on a high note. This year we combined with Ernest Town Secondary School, uh, just because we need to get our numbers up. So on average, I'd say we had about seven or eight players per game. So it was really fun. We, it was a lot of work, but we all laughed on the ice. And yeah, we won some games, so we did not finish last. Oh, let's go. And Laura, what's your favorite thing about hockey? Um, my favorite thing about hockey is probably just getting to spend time with my friends and make new friends um, on the team. So yeah. Nice. You heard it here first, folks. Back to you in the studio. We also wanted to just give a quick shout out to Mr. Swain, Mr. G, Nick, and Doug at Ernest Town to say thank you for coaching us this year. It was a lot of fun and we really appreciate all the work you guys did. Woo! Thank you! On the net. No, it will be turned over to Kingston, but it is kept in. Shot from the point, blocked. Maybe a chance for Kingston here as they're breaking in. Could they have a breakaway? She looks free and she is. But it is saved by Rachel. Great save as Kingston looks to have lost control of it right at the very end. <laughs> oh, here comes Maya. Could she have a chance here? She's off and away on a breakaway. Can she get her second of the night? She can! Great goal. Maya with two minutes left to play. In the net, trying to find something in front of shot here by Kingston, blocked by Bay Ridge. As Bay Ridge will find its way though. This goes all the way now. That can there goes Maya looking for her hat trick. Will she get it? Maya has a hat trick on the night. We have a three nothing hockey game. And speaking of hockey, the Blazers boy hockey season has been filled with fast paced competitive hockey. Our team has remained committed and positive throughout the season. Our highlight of the season would have to be the tie against Ernest Town SX. We had an amazing comeback to nearly, to nearly win only to be curfewed and no time for a shootout. We have them. Our lead against a strong Napanee team showed our perseverance. 
There are a, a very few grade 9 players in this league, and the hard work of the grade 9s and 10 Blazers stood out this season. The future of BSS hockey looks strong. The leadership and encouragement of the senior players demonstrated great sportsmanship and love for the game. Great season, Blazers. Good job. I think that does it for our sports teams. Keep up the astounding and magnificent and spectacular work, Blazers. Do any of you folks have any plans for the March break? If so, it might be handy to know the weather, right? Well, have no fear, because it's time for this week's weather report. Take a gander. Thanks, Blazer News crew. I'm Max Wiskin. And then on today's weather, we're going to talk about literally the March break weather. So, on Friday, we're going to have some, a few showers. It's going to be a high of 7. And on Saturday, it's going to be a bit rainy with a high of 6. And on Sunday, it's going to be mostly cloudy, okay, with a high of 6 again. And on Monday, it's going to be sunny with another high of 6. We got three sixes in a row. And Tuesday, it's gonna be sunny again with a high of, well, lower five, but that's okay. And you know, on Wednesday, it's gonna be a chance of shower and a high of four. I recommend for Friday, stay in and recover from the long school week. And the seven, the seven degrees and the six degrees, Friday and Saturday, you should stay in because it's going to be rainy. If you want, you can go out and see your friend's house or something, you know. Um, but on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I would suggest getting some maple syrup from the syrup farm because that's before, that's, it's good before it's gone. And I suggest, yeah, to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be a great time to get outside. And get some air. Check out my artwork and back to you, Blazer News. The results for the Water First Candy Jar Challenge are in. Thank you to everyone who donated. It was a very successful campaign and we raised $237.80. Way to go, Blazers. The real numbers for the jars were small, 76, medium, 344, and large, 368. The winners are small, tied between Ella Felsk and Miss Capuchat with a guess of 75, medium, Jeannie K with a guess of 350, and large, Athena Cellini with a guess of 375. Come to Miss Garland's room today at lunch to get your candy. Break it down now. <laughs> About Time for deep thoughts. Yeah. Word. Swing. And now, deep thoughts by Cam Haynes. Tried to catch a legendary today, but I can't throw a pokeball at myself. <laughs> to improve your mood, exercise. To think more clearly, meditate. To understand yourself, write. To understand the word, world, world, read. To help people, help yourself. And to learn fast, have fun. MR equals Mr. DR equals Dister. Facts. So right, Cam. Yeah, good thing we get a week off from having to listen to another Deep Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have a great March break and uh, stay frosty. Yeah, st stay, stay frosty. frosty. <laughs> yeah. uh, bye. Bye. <laughs>